You know, Hurricane Harvey was a lot of things to a lot of people, it caused a lot of heartbreak, a lot of financial loss, but to scientists, it was actually a great opportunity because it's basically like this giant experiment. Everything's underwater for days. What are the consequences of that for all of the animals and plants that live around us? We're basically trying to understand if you have this huge catastrophic event, is that a complete reset? on the communities around us. Specifically, in our case, we're interested in ants. We are uh, interested in how Hurricane Harvey affected the uh, ant populations out here in Big Thicket. And in particular, we're interested in uh, some invasive species, both crazy ants and fire ants. Uh, and we're looking at how they have uh, changed in their population or where they are in the park um, after Hurricane Harvey. Do we find the same things coming back the way that they were before the hurricane, or maybe they're gonna be completely different? And the reason that is useful to know is because we need to better understand how communities are shaped. So why are things where they are in the proportions that they are? Is, is there some deterministic force that makes things that way? Or is it all just random? And there was some big catastrophe that sort of set the clock in a particular way. So now that we've had this big catastrophe, we want to follow the process of things coming back together so that we can see, are they going to come back together the same way that they were, or are they going to be completely different? And that helps us interpret what we see all around us, that maybe it's just an accident that things are the way that they are, or maybe there's some very deterministic forces at play.